Hey, this is Travis at Three Corners Farm. Today I'm going to be showing you this 5 ton DR Wood Splitter Electric that I picked up this last summer. Uh, I got it for $80. Uh, normally these are going in our area for about $150 to $200 for these uh, electric 5 ton wood splitters. And I've used it and cut up about a cord so far and it works pretty good for a little electric one. I mean all you have to do is just flip the switch and just start working. I'm going to run it for a little while and show you a few things that happen with it. Uh, just so you can see what's doing and how it works. This might help you make the decision if you want to buy one of these electric wood splitters down the road. Alright, let me get to work. Okay, I forgot to hit the record in the very beginning, but this one, this one actually round causes a little problems because it has a lot of knots in it. But if you just keep working it, moving it around, no different than if you were hand splitting, it'll eventually crack, and then once it cracks, you can keep going. And just remember, you need to. There's a screw on the very front here. You have to undo it four turns by their instructions on the front of this. And then I'll just keep on going and we'll see. I want to show you every once in a while there's some of these that pop off real quickly. And I want to just show you make sure that you have nothing in front of your splitter. Because when it pops, I've had to throw it 10 feet in front of the splitter and hit the house, which is another 6 feet over. So I'll keep running it and we'll see what happens. <laughs> thing you can tell is this wood is uh, from this spring so it's not seasoned that's why I'm trying to get it split up and stacked away from the house that way we don't have to use it until next year 
and then uh, if I need to get into some by the spring at least I'll have one full year of seasoning but that's why it tears it's a little harder to split it doesn't just pop a loose but I do have some green stuff or some season stuff too in here but the majority of it is from this early spring when they were logging up in the county land <laughs> So when this thing stops, and you see me run these big logs and it stops, what I do is this handle, you just push it forward, it goes forward, and you let go, it, it retracts on its own, which is nice. But as it goes, when it stops, I usually let it go back a little bit, about an inch or so, and then I ram it forward again, and sometimes it takes two or three times, but as long as it's starting to split, you'll see me, I'll pull it off and I'll rotate, and then I'll do it again, and it usually splits. I kind of use it like if I was using a, my maul to split with, and try to aim for cracks. Make sure you put all your knots on this side and not on the wedge side. That way it gives it a chance to actually crack. If you put your knots on the wedge side, that's when you'll see it'll just stop. Even if it's a little piece, the knot on this side will stop it. It doesn't allow it to get into the wood to start cracking it. This is the DR5 ton electric wood splitter and I've been using it now for a few days. I probably split about two cords and I have another cord and a half here to split. And I actually got to go in the woods and get one more cord and that should be enough for us for about two and a half years worth of burning. And then I have some other wood to pick up. We're trying to get about three years ahead. That way if there's a year I can't get wood, then I don't have to worry about it. And with this splitter it's certainly saving me a lot of time and I can split small pieces. I have a small firebox, so these smaller pieces I've been splitting uh, it just makes saves me time in the wearing time. I don't have to resplit anything. Uh, first year I had to resplit everything after getting it stacked because my firebox was a little smaller than I was anticipating when I bought the wood stove. Um, other than that, if you're looking at getting a little electric uh, wood splitter, hydraulic one like this one, it's worth the money if you're just doing a few cords. Now, if you're going to get into bigger wood, then uh, I would. Ex you know get a gas powered one it's just nice to be able to throw this thing in the shed for a few years and you just plug it in and it just starts up and goes you don't have to worry about the gas and the carburetor and all that so for ease of use this is great and of course it's not as powerful as the big gas powered ones but uh, with a little work and just moving the wood around you'll get everything split you needed and uh, I would suggest if you don't have a big budget and you just have a few hundred dollars and you can find one of these used go ahead and go get it It'll save you a lot of time and effort when splitting wood. Alright, we'll talk to you guys all later. Bye.